I'm here for uh, inquiry on as NCW member and I am going to have a meeting with the police and then of course meet the uh, girls involved in this and meet the other students and meet also the college authorities and to find out as to what has happened. So any other statement will be given only after I have my first inquiry from the police because FIR has been filed and we need to know the details and only after that I'll be able to give you a better. Investigations are on in the Udupi case where three nursing students allegedly shot a video of one of their college mates invading into her privacy. Now, the police of this particular coastal district of Karnataka have taken up the case Suomoto after major outrage was seen across Karnataka. The National Commission of Women and the member from NCW, Kushbu Sundar, also landed in Udupi to hold talks with not just the superintendent of police in Udupi, but also speak to the college authorities and the students of this particular nursing college to understand what really happened. Now, let's take what the uh, Udupi police is doing. They have said that they not only have taken up the case Suomoto, but they are investigating into the matter and they have sent the mobile phone and this is the most important evidence that they have because it is claimed that it was a mobile phone that was used to shoot the person or this college mate who is now considered as the uh, person who was targeted by these three nursing students uh, in the bathroom of the nursing college. Now this particular uh, three mobile phones that possibly were used and let me say it's alleged because it's still yet to be proven has been sent to the forensic science laboratory in Bangalore for a digital retrieval. Uh, it is also uh, said that possibly uh, when, when the college authorities uh, got to know about this particular incident, the three nursing students were called in and they were forcefully asked to delete these videos. And that is why no evidence is seen on these mobile phones. And this is exactly what was told to Kushbu Sundar as well. But even when uh, News 18 spoke to Kushbu, she also made it very clear that as of now, there is no evidence pointing towards that particular uh, so-called crime. So they are waiting for in, in incriminating evidence that could possibly take this investigation forward. Amongst all this, there's one question that is being raised and that is of the safety of women and more importantly, what is it that boxes one thing as what is called fun and what is invading into one's privacy? The college authorities had in their defense claimed that this particular act by allegedly these three students uh, were, was a prank and was done for fun. Now the question is, is this fun especially uh, when you are actually looking at recording and again this is also alleged because we are, there is still evidence that needs to be proven of recording this person in a bathroom and secondly isn't this invasion of privacy the question also of safety of women comes back because this is a very rare case you're actually seeing women actually involved in a crime where another woman is involved and this is also invasion into privacy that is why a proper investigation a thorough investigation is warranted and if evidence does point towards uh, the, the three who have been now accused of this particular act then if proven guilty they should be taken to task because in a, in a world where we have peeping toms and we have people who invade others privacy especially when we see the use of mobile phones and others and they are brought to book and they are punished well there should be no discrimination of gender but while i've been talk talking to young girls especially in order and students as well they do feel that this kind of an incident does again highlight as to do they feel safe why is such an incident happening? When you're going to an ed educational institution, you go there to educate yourself and empower yourself and not get into such kind of so-called crimes or su such kind of acts that can invade into another's privacy. Tony Swami in Bangalore for CNN News 18.